everybody, Dr. Leo Krawitz, Healthy Feet Podiatry. Got light shining in my eyes right now, that's why there's a little glare. But I've got a, a great patient here um, who has peripheral vascular disease. She's been to a vascular surgeon. And if you look closely at her feet here, you can see um, she has peripheral vascular disease and venous disease. So these are, if you look at the, all the discoloration here, these are all spider veins on the top of the foot. And that's the circulation that brings the blood from the foot to the heart. And that's why she's got um, some swelling in the foot. And I'm guessing you probably get a lot of swelling at the end of the day. The, the, on the, my on left. the left one, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is her left one. And she's got some, um, the same thing here too with the spider veins. But what happens is the valves and the veins don't operate correctly. The fluid can't get up to the heart fast enough. So by the end of the day, gravity pulls out of that fluid down and they get there's a lot of swelling. And then all that pressure causes all these little spider veins to pop out. And that's long term. So in addition to that, when I feel her pulses on the top of the foot, I can't feel any pulses. And she was told by the vascular surgeon that she does have a blockage in the right leg, correct? Yes. Okay, and how much of a blockage is it? I think they said about 50%. And then what about the left leg? Did they say there was a blockage? Some, but I had had that cleared out. Okay. Back when I had my decubitus ulcer. Okay. They cleared that, so there's not much blockage on Where, it. Was it also on the foot? Yes, yeah, so, so okay. on my heel. Yep, so it was the same place, okay. So we're gonna look at the bottom of her heel. She had an ulcer right here before, apparently. The foot's slightly warm. Um, it's not freezing cold, like some people with peripheral vascular disease. Um, but this is a pressure point. This is where she's just putting a lot of pressure. The bone is, is prominent under there for her. And what we're gonna do, because she has not had these calluses trimmed, this callus, this callus here, and then this one on this foot, in years, we're gonna actually inject cortisone underneath it to get rid of all the inflammation underneath. So I'm gonna do that first. So um, I've already um, put some alcohol on the foot. Um, and what I usually do is I'll go from proximal to distal because it'll numb it up as well. You're gonna feel a little bit of burning, okay? This is the ethyl chloride. And we're gonna put the cortisone here. Sorry about that, I know that burns. And what we're doing is just basically filling up volume of cortisone with local anesthetic underneath the callus. I'm gonna do the same thing on this toe as well. And what happens is it decreases all the, the swelling and inflammation under the callus, and it's gonna be less painful also when I trim it down. So she's gonna feel some burden here. Again, you can see the anesthetic going in and the cortisone, and it's going all around the lesion. I'm literally just in the sub Q. Um, I'm not down to the bone or anything, and we're gonna do the same thing on this one. Um, I'm in the sub Q because what I'm just trying to do is make it more comfortable for her and so it doesn't hurt when I trim all this stuff down. That's gonna burn a little bit here. And I'm doing it by feel and by look. And that's it there. Now we can trim everything up. So we will start with this callus on the heel. And we're gonna trim this down and you'll start to feel it get numb here. And what I'm gonna do is just take this layer by layer here. This one, I'm not sure how deep it is. Was this a real deep callus bef um, after you had the ulcer here? Did yeah, you ever I have- I just got that callus a, a few months ago. Oh really? So it never, you never had one there before? No. Okay. Yeah. So obviously this is a pressure point and this is where she developed an ulcer. An ulcer is an open sore. And she had that before, probably from too much pressure on that area. And then the skin breaks down because there wasn't enough blood flow to it before she had the bypass surgery. Correct, you had the bypass surgery and then it healed up? Um, yes. Was that the progression of it? Okay. Well, it was almost a six month ordeal to get it healed. Oh, wow. Went through the hyperbaric chamber. And, oh, you did? Okay. Yes. All right. So the hyperbaric oxygen is what probably got it healed the quickest, right? Uh -huh. How many treatments did you have it at? Oh, gosh. Up here. I don't know, maybe 20. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it takes that or, um, you know, the, the higher oxygen concentration from that chamber is real helpful. Uh -huh. Be able to see it on there, yeah. So what I'm doing here, this is really super hard here. Normally, because I gave her that shot, she's gonna be a little numb here too. 